The labour markets uh, have, are quite tight in the UK and I think we need to realise and sort of take a stock of the fact uh, at how impressive uh, and what the good news has been behind these uh, labour market statistics. So unemployment, for example, has fallen to 4.1%, which is uh, close to the pre-pandemic levels of unemployment. And just putting this in perspective, during the global financial crisis, you know, UK unemployment almost took uh, almost eight, uh, six years to fall back to pre-crisis levels. So the fact that, you know, we've seen uh, a, such a big drop uh, over the, and the recovery during the pandemic has been quite uh, impressive, uh, where we are almost back to pre-COVID levels in about a year and a half. Now that's clearly to do with the unusual uh, shape of the global uh, of the global and UK growth recovery, as well as recovery uh, in the labour market, where, you know, there was a massive drop uh, in GDP uh, and, and labour demand, for example, when the UK economy and, uh, and global economy was in lockdown. But once the lockdowns uh, were removed, uh, we saw a, a, a big pickup in both growth and, and labor demand. What was also interesting is that we had, uh, you know, a fiscal support during this time, which meant that workers were attached to their jobs and household incomes were sustained during the pandemic. Uh, and this allowed uh, for uh, firstly, you know, employment to come back pretty quickly uh, once the restrictions were eased, but also demand to come back fairly quickly because, uh, you know, households sustained their incomes uh, during the pandemic. And, you know, we are seeing that now labor demand continues to be strong. Uh, as Ben mentioned, vacancies are at record highs. Uh, and, you know, even forward-looking indicators of labor demand from different surveys uh, are at record highs. The fact that we are forecasting above trend growth uh, in this, uh, this year for the UK, that means that labor demand should stay elevated.